I spent eight hours building a Home Depot in Lego Fortnite. In my last video, I took you guys on a tour of my massive desert castle village. So be sure to check that one out as well, but let's get into this Home Depot tour. So right as you walk inside, the first thing you're gonna see are these self-checkout aisles. They're not perfect, but there wasn't a lot of items that I could use to mimic a self-checkout machine, but I think I got pretty close. What do you guys think? The lamp I kind of imagined to be the scanner. And then I also noticed there was sunglasses as decoration, so I added some of those because I figured they kind of fit the theme of a self-checkout where there's like just a bunch of crap that they put at self-checkout for you to buy as you're leaving. And then I did another couple lanes of self-checkout near the other exit. Now here's a quick overview of the rest of the store. So starting with this first aisle, we have some garbage cans, some water barrels, some regular barrels. Granted, they do have TNT in them technically. There is no version of the barrel that doesn't have TNT, so I figured that would work well. Then on this other side, we have sinks and other fixtures. One thing that I don't like, and I noticed this, is there's a lot of items like here here. This is under surfaces and there's a section for sinks. But then if you go over to plumbing, there's also this sink under sinks. So I wish some of the items were consolidated better. Then coming around to the next aisle, we have some more plumbing like toilets and the bathtubs. Moving on to the next aisle, we have some furniture and cabinet type items. And then one thing I forgot to mention is that the top of each aisle, I have some pallets or just big boxes and they're meant to look like pallets. Moving on to the next aisle, we have some more furniture, mostly sofas and chairs and coffee tables. The next aisle is is probably my favorite. Not only does it have some more furniture, but it has the very beautiful lighting aisle. I tried to mimic the look and kind of vibe of a real Home Depot lighting aisle, and I think I hit the mark pretty well. In the next aisle, we have some storage and other shelving units. All right, the aisle furthest to the right is the doors and windows aisle. So it's kind of like, not exactly like Home Depot, but essentially I've got a lot of different doors and windows on display. So you would essentially be able to come into the store and see the different options available and order the one you wanted. So that was all the vertical aisles, and then there's essentially two horizontal aisles here in the back next. So moving along back here, we have mostly food-related items like ovens, grills, and then the grain mill I think fit in there pretty well. And then moving along, we have stuff like the refrigerator, the juicer, and then other appliances like the washer and dryer. Then the very back aisle, it has this kind of random area that I put right here that has anvils and swords. It doesn't necessarily fit the Home Depot vibe, but I think it fit in here. Then coming around the corner, we have the lumber section, and I have a lot of different sizes of wood stacked up here and a lot of different types, and I think it added some good contrast and variety. Also, here's a side note. I normally am building in survival. This was in creative because as you can see over here, here, and I have so many things built in here that are just completely unnecessary and out of reach that this wouldn't have made sense in survival even if I managed to gather all the materials. But another thing, like I said, is I utilized here was a lot of the crafting tables that I kind of think fit the Home Depot vibe. Like right here, I have a whole row of level one crafting benches, a whole row of level two, a whole row of level three, and a row of level four. So ultimately in survival, this would be pretty pointless. Moving along the back here, we have more just like industrial style machines that I think kind of just fit the Home Depot vibe. I almost forgot next to this lumber area, there's just this little area that I kind of just left for clutter and other boxes to kind of mimic just like random box tools or screws or that other kind of aisle you would find in a Home Depot. Here I was starting to run out of things to actually fill the store with, so I just added some statues here. Then on the far left side of the store, there's actually a big opening that goes into the patio slash garden center. Obviously it has tons of different plants and I think looking back I could have set this up a little bit differently and made it look a little bit better but I was more just interested in kind of getting the idea finished and fleshed out. Then I've got some little patio displays and then they're all in stock on the shelves here. And then I added some more grills to this section since it just fits the patio area. Then this leads to our third exit out to the front and then outside there's some more planted items like the chili peppers and the berries and all that kind of stuff. And then of course what would a Home Depot be if there wasn't a ton of grills on display out front? Also on the back left side of the building, I even made a little area for a public bathroom. And then I also made an area for the employee lounge. All right, that'll wrap it up for the Lego Home Depot tour here. Like I said, be sure to check out my last video of the gigantic desert castle village that I built. It took me 30 hours to build and I did it all on stream. Not in one stream, but I did it all in separate streams over the course of like a week. Also, be sure to watch out for my next video because I'm almost done with my Shogun Palace Frostlands Village and that thing is insane. Not only is the village incredibly detailed, but it also has an extension inside of a cave where I've built on more of the village. So if you're a fan of my builds, I highly appreciate your support and be sure to subscribe for more LEGO Fortnite builds.